Tensions inside the Tennessee State House lead to the arrest of a Nashville mother of two accused of disrupting an official meeting. We appreciate you being with us tonight. Yeah, all of this happened, by the way, right in the House gallery. And our Phil Williams was there just feet away. He was following another story. And Phil, from your perspective, what happened and what did this woman do? You know, from, from my vantage point, she did nothing except for insisting on her right to be in the House gallery watching her state government at work. Allison Polidor, who was holding a small protest sign, became politically active following the Covenant shooting. Now, you may remember her from last fall when she was removed from a House committee during the special session on public safety for refusing to put down a sign. A Davidson County judge later ruled that the law was on her side. Today, she found found herself once again facing the force of the law. All right, 25, 69 days. As advocates looked on from the gallery, tensions first erupted on the House floor when a disagreement between Majority Leader William Lambert and Representative Justin Jones turned ugly. You are racist. You are racist. You are With Jones shouting at his colleague and calling him racist, some in the House gallery joined in, hurling insults of their own. When House Speaker Cameron Sexton ordered the gallery cleared, Nashville mom Allison Polidor refused to move, insisting she had done nothing wrong. I didn't feel like I should have to leave, that it's my right to sit there and view what laws our lawmakers are passing. For some 10 minutes, the mother of two pleaded her case. They, the troopers just kept talking to me and saying, you have to leave, you have to leave. Um, you know what's going to happen if you don't leave. And I said, no, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and they said, we'll have to arrest you. And I'm like, what are you arresting me for? I'm just sitting here quietly. That's when two troopers took her by the arms and forcibly removed her. Even as she was escorted from the House gallery, troopers were not ready to release her. She was placed on an elevator and escorted to a conference room on the ground floor of the Capitol. There, other activists, along with Representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson, pleaded for her to be released. And they said, you know, we're going to arrest you, we're going to take you to the jail. Um, and I called a lawyer and said, hey, you know, what, what can I do? And she said, this is not um, arrest worthy. This is a citation. Um, and the trooper said, well, you know, we'll look at the law and see what, you know, what we can do. As troopers ordered the others to leave the area, they decided to stay just sit in, refusing to leave their friend. Inside, Polidor says she was told she was going to jail. Later, troopers took her out a back door in handcuffs. Um, so then they put handcuffs on me, and they put me in the back of the um, Tennessee Highway Patrol car. So you were in handcuffs? I was in handcuffs. Uh huh. They cuffed me in the front. Troopers drove her away in the back of a THP vehicle, taking her to another office where they eventually issued her a citation and released her from custody. What's your takeaway from this experience? We're dealing with a really unjust system and um, that everybody needs to be paying attention. As for the charge of disrupting official proceedings, the House actually continued its business uninterrupted while troopers talked to Ms. Polidor. Her arrest citation will now be handled by Davidson County DA Glenn Funk. We've reached out to his office to see how they will handle all of this. We'll let you know if we hear back. Rory.